Ah, the first mention of the mech is... Oh, hey, there's this, uh... Oh, Porter, it's, I think that's a, the thing that that robot they were talking about. Ah, two fusing cores. Amazing. Bone cutter. Yeah, I think I may know what the mechanist is, but I'll tell you in just a moment. I think it might be a reference to, like... It could be either be a reference or the same guy from Fallout 3. Oh, there's some guy in the tub. Oh my god. If he's not dead, he's dead now! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, he, if he wasn't dead before, he is uh, he's definitely dead now. I guess this is Sage, because I guess he likes to wear sunglasses. Alright, cool. Well, what's your story, Ida? My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Ah. Uh. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor, but I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. It wasn't any trouble. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this Mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the Mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go. All right. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. I'm sure they are. I've discovered every other place in this uh, wasteland. I've probably been there at least five times, doing like repeat missions. All right, dog meat. It was fun while it lasted, but uh, you gotta go back to Sanctuary Hills. That's the right place, right? I think so. Goodbye, dog. Oh, don't give me that look. Come on. It's a robot! Come on, dog me. It's a robot! Put your head up high! I, I know... Stupid dog makes me feel bad about him. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> stupid mosquitoes! <laughs> Alright.
All right. Let's All right. talk to you a little yes, bit. Sir. Ada? Yeah, like I don't have enough partners to worry about. Now I gotta build robot partners. Oh, why would I ask you about self-destruct? Let's do it! Are you able to self-destruct? No, I can't. I'm fairly certain that my original creator had grander plans for me other than becoming a pile of debris. Heads up. That's yes. good. How can I assist? Uh, <laughs> activate some- I'm sure if I had like high enough and maybe intelligence, I could like make her blow up and be like, "All right, done with that." This able personality, no. That was all. All right. Why would I want to disable the personality? This is the only robot that talks like this. Why would I want to be like, "Hello, sir. I am. I just like every other normal robot." Ah. Uh, all right. So the mechanist. Yeah, see, you you feel me. You feel me, don't you? You feel me. How much weight do I actually have? 295 out of 3. Okay, I got plenty. Great. Alright, so... The Mechanist... Oh, there there goes Dogmeat off in the distance. The Lone Wanderer. He's gonna have his own adventures on his way back home. Even though... The Dogmeat, the Sanctuary heals us that way. I'm pretty sure it's that... Oh, okay, he'll, he'll he'll find his way home eventually. Uh, the mechanist is, I think, a reference to Fallout 3, where uh, whereas in that game, I'm saying this for obviously for a lot of people who probably don't know. Uh, where's this? Where's this quest at? Uh, all the way over here. Yeah, I thought it'd probably be over here. Uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll we'll go to the castle and we'll and we'll walk our way around there. I just didn't want to like spawn it. I didn't want to fast travel to a place and have enemies surround us. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, um, the mechanist is a probably a reference to Fallout 3, whereas in that game, there's a town. There's like a small little town in that uh game that like when you walk up to it, there's like a fight going on. It's a fight going on between giant robots. No, it wasn't, not giant robots. There's a fight going on between giant ants and robots when you walk up to the town. And there's like two people controlling like either side. Oh my gosh. There's a stupid uh, storm. Are you kidding me? And so like in the course like when you kind of like get up there. Oh, General, there's another settlement that needs your help! <laughs> hey, fuck you! Screw you, I'm not, uh, I'm not doing it. He can... I got my, I got my leader achievement, so, you know what, I'm good. Uh, anyway, so... You walk over to the town, there's a fight going on between giant ants and robots. And when you kind of get there, they kind of, like, stop fighting. They're like, oh, I'll get you next time! And turns out that... Uh, that the two people are that are like controlling the robots and ants are like uh the person controlling the ants is called like ant woman which is as not to friends on marvel's like ant man or whatever it was and uh can i get on top of this i hopefully i can like it was like ant woman and there was a uh, and it was the mechanist who was controlling the robots and, and like, the, like, the whole story was that, like, the ant woman was, like, attacking one day, and then this one, the, like, the town's mechanic, uh, fixed up a bunch of robots to help defend the, the village. But now, but now it's like they just, but now instead of actually doing it to protect people, they're just, like, fighting for the fun of it at that point. And I'm pretty sure that the guy was called the Mechanist. I'm fairly certain he, he was. And now this is like a reference to that thing. So I don't know. I mean, obviously, uh, in Fallout 3, you could either, either just go up and kill one of them. Like, you just go to their hideout, to either one's hideout, and uh, kill one of them to stop the fighting. Or you could do the diplomatic approach. And, uh... Oh, man, that looks really menacing back there. That looks like it's like a giant robot or something. Oh my god, that's really cool. That's just like some sort of structure, but it's not it's not a robot, but it kind of looks like a robot from here, which is pretty awesome. But yeah, and you could either like, kill one of the 
kill one of the people, or you could like talk them out of fighting. And you could do either one, so... That's how you solve that problem. And... I think that this is a reference to that very same thing. So I don't know if this is a different mechanist, or if this is like the same guy. But we'll, but we'll go in with my strongest silence pistol here. Uh, where's my robot friend? Where's, where's my friend Ada Wong? Like her name, like the robot's name is Ada, so like of course I'm gonna think immediately of like Ada Wong. What, what did she? Oh, I wonder if she got stuck in the water somewhere. Ada, no! I was foolish to think that the robot could survive in the water. Oh well, rip in peace. Anna Wong, Ada Wong, whatever. Quantum junk bot. Oh my god. I'm gonna throw it on a save here. Uh, let's save right here. Oh, I remember that save. That that's that's when I was trying to get my final achievement. Like the local leader. That's literally the worst. Oh, there you are. What? What? Wait a second now. Who sees me? Oh, I see. Of course, the I bot sees me. Oh man, I don't have very good accuracy for any of these thoughts. No! My stealth has failed me. Oh well, big guns. Oh no, I hate those laser beams. Okay, this is getting very... This is getting a little bit out of hand right here. Oh, of course, because we have... Because we have a starred enemy who's like harder than most. I'm remember, I'm remembering how to do stuff like throw grenades. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? You guys can't get out of the room, can you? Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Ada Ada Wong is uh, deactivated here. And of course, whenever there's a starred enemy, they always have to mutate. How do I reload? All right. This could have gone so much better, but no, I had to miss my shots. Now everybody knows I'm here. Oh my god. I'm level 83 and this guy is doing so much damage to me. This is insane. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad because it wouldn't be very fun if, uh, if this was just a walk in the park. So I'm. Oh my god. It's one of those robots that explode when they die. That's great. Aggressive bleep. Alright. <laughs> Aggressive bleep. I suppose I probably could have gone back to, uh,. One of my settlements and built like a uh... what is that sniper rifle? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the sniper rifles. I didn't remember like my my gun sub my gun subs were. I probably could have gone back to like one of my settlements and actually uh uh you know like built another robot companion, but we'll we'll go stick with good old Ada Wong here. Alright, let's see what's on the stone computer over here. Receptionist terminal. Memos. 
In fact, I probably already read this. This probably isn't actually new, it's just... Oh yeah, the Miss Nanny model. For the Mr. Handy. <laughs> We're still gonna keep all the, uh, sharp objects on it, but it will be catered to, uh, it will be made to be catered to babies. Alright, that is a very useful computer that couldn't have been done with a notepad or anything. Oh shoot, I forgot that that opens up to like the larger area. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that this gun doesn't have to reload either. I have this gun that doesn't need to reload, and I have that, uh... I have this combat rifle that I found that doesn't need to be re reloaded either. Which would be really useful when I'm dealing with all these like swarms of robots. I feel like. Uh, oil can, why not? I'll take that. I never know when I'm going to need some, like, robot parts or anything like that. Never know, so I might as well kind of start, like, tr like... I might as well, like, start stocking up on time parts, because I never know when I might, like, need to repair something in this DLC or something. Like, oh, this robot is, uh... Like, oh, this robot is actually, uh, damaged, so you could help. You need these parts for it. I'm like, oh, great. Are there any robots over here? Do these robots ever go out of, like, combat alert? Because I'm just constantly in danger here. I don't see any robots right now. Danger! Danger, real Walperson! What do you have to say? Personal logs. Job assignments. Promotion. We hope you transition. You will be, you'll be supervisor of the place. You will be a comfortable job that requires very little effort or stress on your part. Your responsibility will be to simply observe the operations of the completely automated staff. Oh my god, where can I sign me up for this job? Come on. Where can I find this job? It sounds amazing. Little intervention. Robots will be doing everything. Wow. Thanks for nothing. I put a years of my life in a factory, and now I have to babysit robots. I don't know, man. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. I can still do my job, age 25 year old. Oh, he's a travel, he's a travel. Oh, I don't want to travel, I want to work. Oh, boo hoo. Oh, I don't want to babysit robots. Well, then give me your job, because that sounds amazing. Ah! <laughs> no, 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 wrong one. This one. One more! Yeah, I thought I could do it before dying. Oh my god. <laughs> I did not see that coming, I don't know. I just opened the door and there's this giant, faceless robot here. Yeah, like I said, I really I love the design of robots in this game. They're so cool. Like in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, I mean, the robots were cool in that game, obviously. Protectron Front Actuated Frame. Oh, I'm guessing that this is probably used to actually build robots. Like I'm gonna, like I'm gonna need these to build better robots. Like the robots were cool in other games. Don't get me wrong, but they just weren't very threatening. You know, like even the protect, even the protectrons, uh, like the giant tank-like robots. Even those, like, when she, once you got to a certain point in the game, they're like, eh, oh, Tesla Science, I oh, missed yeah. this? Science Magazine. What is plasma, anyway? 
Huh. Must have missed that. Or maybe that's new. But once Jackson spotted the mechanist robots, he turned us around immediately. Ugh, creepy baby. <laughs> Alright, I'm done playing around. Uh, typewriter? Yeah. I I don't need to collect I don't need to be collecting junk for like parts anymore. I'm I'm good with all that stuff. Oh, there's so many. There's still like so many uh robots here. I'll keep this out. Oh, you know what? Because I had my I had my uh, light on, so that could have done something. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, the robots. Okay, so this is where we entered. All right. The robots in uh, the other games were so like poisonous to me. Eh, poison, I don't care about that. And that game, were like, this is kind of like, eh, because even even the what I was saying before I was interrupted was that they were, uh, they just they just became like not a threat anymore. It, you just you just saw them as another enemy type because even the tank even these like big tank robots you were like the same size as them and they weren't really that much of a threat anymore so it, they kind of became the robots in the uh, in the other games kind of became like useless after a while and in like the early game they were they were pretty difficult but you know once you became like high enough level they didn't scale very well, and you could just blow them up with like a couple of rockets, and it wasn't that big a deal. But in this game, they really, really went all out with robots, and I really, I really love it a lot. Just simply because, okay, that's the second part of Factory. I remember that, so I'll, I'll continue. I'll check this part. They really went. Oh, the mechanist holotape. Look at that. I'm guessing that this is maybe. Uh, what those iBots I constantly spout. Here, I'll finish my thoughts. JK, L. Mechanist Hall Tape. Attention, people of the Commonwealth. I, the Mechanist, have come to bring about an age of peace. Do not be alarmed. These robots are your allies, your protectors. And they will not rest until the Commonwealth is saved. Together, we will restore justice and bring about the dawn 